Hey everyone, it's Rifle here, and thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I got you guys something exciting that Redditors have recently stumbled upon in the last mission in the campaign. Well, this isn't exactly the last mission, but it's close to it. As you guys can see, I'm at the mission called 1AU. Which, in case you guys don't know, you can replay missions from Ikora with the meditation. And I believe that is how we're going to be able to find these undiscovered exotics. Kind of like how it was in Destiny 1, where we could find the Black Spindle in the No Time to Explain on certain difficulties. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, we had to go to the heroic difficulty in order to find the No Time to Explain. Let's just say that was a very tricky exotic to find. And I believe Bungie is actually doing something very similar here in Destiny 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this first secret right here in the beginning of 1AU. You literally spawn right on top of that platform and the secret is right down here as you guys can see I have some buddies down there down below there's a secret vent that takes you to these named enemies and you guys will see here in a second if you guys find this enjoyable consider leaving a like it's greatly appreciated and also I'll be leaving the redditors links down below in the description for you guys to go check out too it's pretty awesome that these guys have stumbled upon this okay so as you can see Here's a secret vent. Now this secret vent is going to lead to some named enemies. Now I'm going to go ahead and go inside this and show you. It's pretty weird. So far, it's undiscovered on what we're supposed to do here. But as you can see, these enemies are called Crimson Shadows. These are different from your regular enemies. Very weird. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Maybe we got to kill these in a certain time limit or something. I, I, I really don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and kill them now. I don't know why I'm sitting there staring at it. As you can see, they're down. Nothing happens. And once again, this is still a mystery. So if you guys want to jump on board on this, that's the reason why I'm making this video to get more of the Destiny community on board. I'm trying to discover what's going on here. Very interesting. Now, the next one I'm going to be showing you is a lot further into the mission. It's around where where we get damaged by the sun because we're super close to it so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to that area wait a minute what's that okay never mind I thought that was destroyed boy first it's just a detail on the ceiling so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the next part which is where the sun can damage us okay so I am at the next part and by the way if you guys can be sure to share this with other people so we can get more into Destiny community on board with this mystery I believe, once again, this has to be an undiscovered exotic unless Bungie is just wanting to yank our chains and get us excited for nothing. I mean, you really got to be intentionally looking for other areas in order to find this. You guys will see, like, it's insane how secretive this is. It's awesome that these Redditors stumbled upon this because who knows how long this would have taken to actually be discovered. So this goes to show that there might be other secrets and other missions as well. So yeah, we just got to make it onto the other side over here in this sun part. It is crazy, I will say. And we're going to be going up this. That's where the secret is located at. Sorry about that spinning. I know that annoys some of you guys, but I just do it out of habit. I don't know why. I guess because I played a lot of competitive back in the day, and I still do. Anyways, yeah, we got to really hurry up and get to the top of this. And... The thing is, the sun is constantly damaging us, so it can be kind of hard to do. And, yeah, I wasn't fast enough there. Get back to the shadows! This is where I'm safe at. I gotta really plot out where I'm going to run to. You guys get what I'm saying? Now, you have to be intentionally looking for this kind of stuff. Like, who actually just runs up this just because? You know? Because this is just nuts. Tranquility almost made it, but I think I can revive him now to get a little bit... Of a shield so I can go a further distance. Yay! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ooh, shadows back here. Nice. Okay, this really helps. We gotta slowly make our way up. So, I guess we can just climb these pipes now. Bam, more shadows. Oh, here we go. We can get on this ledge now. Oh, no. What? Maybe the one higher? Okay. Looks like it's a little bit trickier with the warlock. Oh, there we go. I'm up. 
And got that far now. Bam! Okay, we are officially up. And it's right over here. As you can see, it says electron controller. Not exactly sure what that means. Oh my gosh, my screen is extremely bright. What was that? What the heck was that? It's got a legendary engram from him too. I'll pull out my ghost, see if anything is destructible around. Nope. Oh, that's what was bright, this barrier. It's so weird colored here. Because <laughs> the sun's right here. But yeah, that's all that was found so far. Not exactly sure what these secret enemies are for. But I have like a really, really good feeling these are going to lead to an undiscovered exotic. Maybe all the secrets in this map has not been found quite yet. And we just have to find more of them. Or once again, maybe we have to do this with Ikora in the uh, meditation mission. Just like how we had to find No Time to Explain. Aw, oh, can't go through there. Daggone it. So yeah, hopefully you found this enjoyable. And once again, if you guys can, be sure to share this with some people. Because I want more of the Desa community on board with this. And see if we can find out what this mystery is and see what this undiscovered exotic is going to be. I'm excited to see because I want to of course get my hands on some more loot and who knows how this exotic is going to be. It could be like something like the Galahorn because I know a lot of us want that weapon back. It could be something similar to that or maybe something similar to the Outbreak Prime. I don't know. Or hey, maybe it's not even a weapon. No, actually it's going to have to be a weapon because if it's an armor piece then you know only a certain class will be able to use that. But yeah, this is all I wanted to bring you guys. I'm out of here. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen, and hopefully you found this enjoyable. Peace.